and he would be frightened of them. One of our teachers, Sheikh Hassan al Hindi, he was a blind Sheikh, uh, a very beautiful man, very intelligent, one of the most intelligent teachers of our school. Sheikh Hassan al Hindi told us in the sixth year of school, he said, he said, once there was this young man in my street and he had some gin problems. And his family came to my house and said, Sheikh, can you come and do some readings for our young lad? He's having a very hard time. So I said, Bismillah, let's go. So he said, I took my younger brother, Sheikh Mahir, with me and we went to the house. And there he is wailing and shouting and all sorts. Sheikh Hassan said, I started to read upon him. And as I was reading, the young lad was calming down and calming down. Listen to this carefully. He said, suddenly my younger brother said to me, Shall we not go and call Sheikh Abdul Rahman al shaghuri What did he say? He said, my younger brother said to me, Shall we not go and call Sheikh Abdul Rahman al shaghuri Sheikh Hassan said, at that point the jinn spoke out. At that point, the jinn spoke out and he said, Bikafina Seedna. <laughs> he said, Seedna Hassan is enough for us. What did he say? He said, Seedna Hassan is enough for us. You don't need to go and call Sheikh Abdul Rahman. Sheikh Hassan said, I got a bit chuffed. I said, whoa. <laughs> I've been vouched. Huh? I got a bit chuffed. I said, oh, that's a good one. So, I continue, so he said, I said to the jinn, I said, look, don't disturb this lad and let him live in, in, in peace. Sheikh Hassan said, that's it, finished. We left the house, walked down the street and we could hear the kid wailing and shouting again. Screaming his head off. Sheikh Hassan said, I spoke to a friend of mine, another teacher of our school, and a very righteous, pious man of Allah, whose name was Sheikh Abdul Hakim Uthman, who was also blind. He said, I told him the story. And I told him, I said, you know what the jinn said? He said, Sheikh Sidna Hassan is enough for us. And he said, Sheikh Abdul Hakim said to me, he said, he made a fool out of you because he knew that if Sheikh Abdul Rahman Shahuri turned up, that, that was the end of him. He would have destroyed him. He said, look how frightened he was of the name of the Sheikh, let alone the appearance of the Sheikh. He said he was so frightened of the name of the Sheikh that he spoke out. He never spoke before that or after that. He spoke out and he said, Sidna Hassan is enough for us. There's no need to bring Sheikh Abdul Rahman. Because he knew what would happen if Sheikh Abdul Rahman turned up. If this is what's happening when his name is being mentioned, what would happen if he had turned up? Radiallahu an Qaddasallahu sirrahu al-aziz. If these are the cases of the people of his Ummah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, that he is so frightened of them and so terrified of them, then imagine the state of that master sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbi wa barak wa sallam, uh, such, such a servant of Allah's, who there was no servant like him. And who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described and said, Subhanallah, bi abdihi. Glory be to the one who took his.